Thomas, welcome to St. Louis. I know you have been practicing for a couple of weeks. Uh, how has been your experience uh, practicing with the team? Yeah, it's been great. Everyone is nice, everyone is so kind. They are helping me a lot, so yeah, it's, I feel fine. And you, you got some minutes on, on Saturday night. Uh, how do you feel out there? Yeah, I feel good. I played 20 minutes, I think. And I feel really, really great. I was uh, happy that we won, and um, it was great experience for the first minute. What was appealing for you about coming to St. Louis and be part of St. Louis City SC? Yeah, it was. Um, I heard about it. Lutz told me uh, this project, and it was really interesting. And I told myself, yeah, I want to be part of them. So it was really exciting, and uh, yeah, I'm really happy that I joined uh, uh, St. Louis and MLS. From what you have seen on the practices and uh, the games, uh, does it like uh, is it what Lutz told you like when you were about to come? Does it the system and yeah. everything? Yeah, it's everything the same. What he what he told me the high pressing and just uh, yeah, just play play fast forward and uh, score so goals. Yeah, we wanna play attractive football. Tomas, where are you from? I'm from Czech Republic. Are you near Prague? I'm not near Prague. I'm like through three or four hours from Prague. Who did you like when you were a kid? What players did you like? Oh, I like uh, Neymar, Iniesta, Cristiano Ronaldo, Messi, this kind of players. How about the clubs? Clubs? Well, for me was Bayern München, hmm. Real Madrid, and uh, yeah, nothing else. Yeah, these two clubs was for me the best. And if you go back, when you go back to visit, what's the first place you're going to visit? The Czech Republic. <laughs> My home. Thanks. Yeah. Have you had a chance to uh, see things around St. Louis? Yeah, I already saw uh, the city, the downtown, and uh, the stadium, and the training facility. It looks really, really, really great. And uh, I'm looking forward that we move there and play there, and uh, everything will be done. Yeah, I'm looking forward. And for you, obviously you came earlier and now you are training with CD2, um, which is a third division team. Uh, is this like a new experience for you or has it been a while since you had since you trained with a third division team? Um, it's experience, but uh, also when I play in Germany, I, I played a couple, I think, three games for the second team and uh, yeah, it's, I understand how it feels and I want to I wanna, um, help these guys and just yeah just play good football with them and try try the best anything else Tom? thanks what what are you looking forward to in our next game what is it, sunday night yeah um we have a tough road trip obviously going to vancouver is uh just a logistic logistical nightmare uh in and of itself um but Kwame uh, says he's going to pull some strings with the, the custom agents oh, sure. and get us into the, across the border a little faster. Um, there's a debate whether Kwame or uh, Kyle, who's going to get into Canada quicker, because they're both, and Kyle made this point, it's very important. He's going to get into Canada quicker and he's going to use his Canadian passport when he goes in, and then he's going to turn around and use his US passport right. when he's coming back in. So he thinks he's got Kwame beat in all those areas. So. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan to me. This is the stuff that we've been preparing for um, all week long, is who's getting across the border faster. <laughs> they don't get across the border, they don't play. It's true, it's true. So. All right, uh, just thinking about Vancouver, um, you played them earlier in the season. It was a Vancouver 2-1 to -one win. Uh, to me, it felt like that was a game that got away. Uh, yeah, but I wanted to, to hear your you, like. perspective on Vancouver and this game. So one, you give them a lot of credit for coming back uh, in the way that they did in that game. Um, and it hurt. I mean, that, that one was tough for us. Uh, we now have the opportunity to go back there and, and correct you know, what we felt like was a wrong on our fault. You know, give Vancouver full credit for being a good team and being well coached in, in that game specifically. You know, they did a good job in that second half and came back against us. We want to go back there um, show them that we've improved, that we've learned our lessons, uh, and continue to try to get points as we approach the end of the season where it's going it, to, you know, this is just a, a really important kind of stretch for us right now. Thinking about the next five games being away, um, do you prepare different for that or nothing? 
No, I mean, you, get, you have to adjust, uh, and we, we do in a lot of little ways. Uh, you know, we do a physical periodization plan, and because we know we're away five weeks on the road, you know, that changes how hard we can work. It, it means that the travel time, the time we're going to spend on the road, it's just quadruple, you know? So now we have, we have some challenges that we have to deal with. That's just one example, but um, our preparation is going to have to change. Uh, we've been a good team, take away this last Seattle trip, but we've been a good team on the road and we've handled ourselves in all the right ways, so we want to get back to that as well. And I know you probably take it one game at a time, but if you look at the schedule, four out of these last, four out of these five games are against teams that are in contention for, for the playoffs. So what are your thoughts on that? Yeah, I call them six-pointers when it's that, like, so Vancouver's a six-pointer because we go in there, we go searching for our three points, but we literally take three points away from them, and that creates that six point, and we can do that against Vancouver and San Jose, which we're both competing to, to make the playoff uh, with right now. So to your point, these are huge games, um, and we have, you know, we don't want to look farther than Vancouver, but it's hard not to, especially when you're doing this five, five weekends on the bounce. Are any of the new guys going to Vancouver with the team? Yeah, we'll, we'll bring uh, a couple of the new guys for sure. Um, you'll see we're just trying to sprinkle enough minutes and experiences. You know, we have our whole group here now, which is fantastic. Um, nobody new for me to introduce in the, in the pre-training meetings, which I'm thankful for because I'm butchered the crap out of some names, I'll tell you what. Um, but uh, it means we're all together now. You know, and no one else is coming in, you know, doors closed in that regard, and it's just about going to work and enjoying it and getting better every day.